What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the Uverse? Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for the views and thanks for them subs. If you guys really enjoy this, remember to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Uh, let's roll that intro and then I'll get into what I'm going to be talking about today. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is something that I found that could be really, really handy and also a huge nuisance for motorcycle riders with an Apple Watch. Um, I'm an Apple user. I'm not one of those Apple fanboys that everything has to be Apple. When Apple came out with the bigger phones, I thought I'd give them a try and I like them. I kind of bought into the Apple ecosystem a little bit. Um, and then I like the Apple Watch. I like it better than the Samsung Watch. That's just me. So, you know, I'm not dead set on Apple. Don't go getting all flaming in the comments about, you know, Android's the only way to go. And yeah, Android's great, dude. Apple's pretty good. This is actually a really cool feature, potentially. So it comes up with their emergency SOS program that they've got in the Apple Watch. Um, so if you go into, your Apple Watch screen. Let me unlock my phone. Do to do. And if you come over here and you go into Apple Watch, you come down here and you go into Emergency SOS. That one right there. Hit that. This hold side button was turned on. So if you read that, what it says is automatically call emergency services when you press and keep holding the side button. You may still need to specify an emergency service to dial. It defaults to 911. So obviously turn that off because if you're wearing uh, any full gauntlet gloves or you've got a jacket that's tight around your wrist, it'll push your watch down. And we're in this position a lot. What happened, let me step back here so I can talk to you guys. So what happened was while I was on the highway, just cruising along, minding my own business, jamming out to music with my Senna, all of a sudden my music cut out. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? So I start reaching around to the Senna because you can't, you know, even though I've got my phone mounted in the Ram mount, uh, my gloves don't work on it, so. You know, I, I do all of my controls through my Senna. Um, none of the normal things that pause the music would restart the music. When I hit the phone button, it restarted the music. I was like, that's odd. Why does the phone button stop the music unless it's trying to make a call, but I didn't hear it ring or anything. Whatever, music's back on, jamming. Uh, get a couple miles down the road, my music cuts out again, reach right back hit that phone button, music comes right back. Like, oh no, what's happening? Sure shit. A couple minutes later, I get a phone call from 911, emergency services. Answer the call and uh, explain to them, sorry, I don't know what's going on, you know, disregard, I'm fine, I'm not in distress, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, gave them the information that they needed, apologized for the inconvenience, pulled off on the next exit, tried to find a reason, couldn't find a reason, hopped back on the highway. Um, made it about 10 miles that this next time called again all of a sudden my music cut out you know did that like three more times long story short I called 911 nine times in less than 18 miles and what it was was my watch getting pushed down and me pushing and holding this side button for more than six seconds and it automatically dialed 911 so I discovered this when I got to Steve's house. I Googled that shit and found it out and turned disabled, as you guys saw, disabled that feature. I, I find it odd that Apple, um, by default, has that on. It's a cool feature, but it's not shouldn't be on by default, in my opinion. It's something that you should have to turn on. The one that's really cool that I, that I did turn on, this one, fall detection. This could be really useful for us. So this was off. And what it does is Apple Watch can initiate an emergency SOS call if you take a hard fall and don't seem to move. Before the call, Apple Watch will alert you 
It has detected a fall. If you don't respond, it will tap your wrist, sound an alarm, and call an emergency services. So I like that. Yeah, fall detection, confirm. I'm gonna confirm that. I do like that feature. I think for, for motorcycle, not just for motorcycle riders, but for anybody in the construction field, if you fall off a ladder and you're working alone, we could knock ourselves unconscious. We could smack our head on the ground and uh, do some serious damage. And uh, Apple Watch would call SOS. I think that's awesome. Calling SOS because a button got pushed for five seconds is not a good idea when that button is on your hand side of your watch. So, sorry, almost went into a rant there. <laughs> but the moral of the story is there's a really cool feature with an Apple Watch. Use the fall detection. I think it'll be great because it alerts you as well. So like if you clap your hands, like I just, like I did when I was starting to shoot this and set my hand here and didn't move it, it alerted me. Uh. This thing right here, what? Is now doing it again. I did not fall. That's cool. And I had a chance to then say, no, I'm fine. Don't worry about calling SOS. But instantly calling, if, if the button was on the back side of the watch, if it was over here, I don't think it would ever get pressed. But on the hand side of the watch, it's very possible that it could get, pre get pressed. So anyway, that's my little rant about the Apple Watch emergency SOS features. I think it's cool. I'm really happy about the technology and I'm glad I found out about it and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys and then we will move on to the unboxing of the Aprakovich Akropovic, Akropovich, how do you pronounce it? Acro, this thing. The Acro exhaust system and carbon fiber hanger and let's get to that unboxing right now. Let there be light. Get that out of the way. Yeah, we got some other goodies from AF1. Those will be coming. So yeah, we've got the USB thing and a uh, added surprise. Always cut directly into your hand. Make sure that you uh, slice the meat thoroughly. If you're gonna do it, do it right, do it deep. So this should be the carbon fiber hanger. Akropovic bolt sealant. So is that like their thread locker, I guess? So there's the install stuff. Throwing. Carbon fiber bracket. Installation instructions. There's the carbon fiber bracket. How do you, how do you open that without tearing it, I guess? Scissors. Scissors help. Acropovic carbon fiber goodness. It's actually a bit more weighty than I thought it would be. It's quite thick. Usually carbon fiber pieces are a lot thinner than that. I mean, that's a lot of carbon fiber. That's gonna look good on the bike though. Put that out of the way, put that out of the way. And now this is the only thing that's got me nervous just cause that's not factory tape. But this is exactly the way I received it except it had a uh, brown paper around it. I just removed the shipping pad paper and this is what ooh there's the carbon fiber bracket ooh that is nice so carbon fiber hanging bracket it will attach or a can wrap will attach to that yeah that's gonna look really nice all right set those aside what else is in here Ooh, a popped airbag. The can comes in styrofoam. That's nice. 
There's all kinds of paperwork. Bet you this is my titanium link can or uh, pipe. So yeah, I'll have a, a link pipe coming out of the can, out of the bottom of the, the bike, up to the can. That'll turn nice and blue. It's time for a new blade in this knife. Oh yeah, titanium link can, or link. Why do I keep calling it a can? Titanium link pipe. Yeah, that's the word. Pop that back up. Because these are not ready to be installed yet. Nope, nope, nope. Ooh, what's that? I see a prillia hanging. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but thank you. And there's my clamps. And there's just air. And an Aprilia keychain. There's all your brack, your uh, pipe clamps, and your springs, and your bolts, and more thread locker, and who knows? I don't know. We'll go through this when we do the actual installation. Uh, nothing in English. <laughs> So we got Dutch or German, we got Italian, we got French, we got Spanish, we got Portuguese, and I don't know what that is. What language that is? Not English. That must be a language pack, because I think, yeah, this one is English. So, cool. And, oh, are we ready? Are we ready? I am ready. Let's see what this looks like. Oh. oh yeah full acropovic carbon goodness for race use only <laughs> sure whatever you say buddy but that thing that thing is sexy oh yeah Woohoo! look at that Bundle that back up because honestly, the only reason why. Hold on. Get you off of the tripod. The only reason why I uh, did this unboxing is because I need the code. So I need the code to set off, send off to Bike World, which is where I bought this exhaust from, uh, along with some other information. And then uh, they will send me the flash file, uh, which I can toss on a thumb drive and take it over to uh imperial motorsports where i ran where i the, 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 where i did the dyno testing we will be dealing with bart uh formerly of mad moto they got bought by imperial motorsports here in denver colorado they do a lot of tuning they do dynos they got two dynos one of them on a trailer and one of them set um so we will know the numbers stock with about 26 2700 miles uh, I can't remember how many miles I had on her when I did that first dyno. But anyway, fully broken in, stock exhaust, stock everything. And then we will get her flashed. We'll put another 100 miles or so on it with the flash so that the computer fully learns, fully auto-tunes. And then we will do another, uh, another dyno so we can see what the changes are, see exactly where you know, how it affects the mid range, how it affects the low end, how it affects the top end. And uh, we'll also do a full weight thing. But until the next time, guys, keep that shiny side up. I will see you guys out in the canyons. You know, I love each and every one of you guys. Peace.